everyone. May God grant us the wisdom we need for dealing with difficult people in the mighty name of Jesus. Friends, there are times in our walk with God when people do things to us that makes us feel like meeting them in the parking lot and giving them a five-fold ministry. I'm talking about the one within our fists. There are times that tongue-speaking, Bible-quoting brethren, we act so negative and mean to us on purpose with the hope that we will re react in the same manner and they can have a case against us. Saints of God, they may succeed in fooling a lot of people. In fact, our leaders may believe they are the best thing since sliced bread. But beloved, God is Jehovah Elroy, the one who sees, and he will defend you in every area you have no voice. Besides, we need not allow what others do to bring out the worst in us. I repeat, may God give us the wisdom in dealing with difficult people in the mighty name of Yeshua, the son of the living God. The Bible says in Exodus 14, verse 14, the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Ephesians 4, 26 to 27, be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Friends, no human being is worth losing your salvation over. The Bible says in Ephesians 4.26 that we may be angry but sin not and that we should not let the sun go down on our anger. Beloved, pick your fights. Fight the good fight of faith. Fight spiritual enemies with the weapons of our warfare that are mighty through God. War a good warfare over the prophecies that have been spoken over you. Be assertive, but not aggressive. The Bible tells us God beautifies the meek with salvation. Psalms 149.4 Friends, meekness is by no means synonymous with weakness, but rather it is actually having the power and choosing not to use it. Hand over the battle to God. God tells us in Romans 12.19, Vengeance is mine. The Bible tells us to be kindly affection to one another. Romans 12, 10. The fact of the matter is that there are some that will not speak peaceable unto you, even if you cut off your tongue for them, perhaps because you have something they lack. Friends, love them anyways. This is because it is a commandment from God to do so. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. About the people who crucified him. Luke 23, 34. Besides, if you are only nice to those who are nice to you, what sets you apart from the unbeliever? The, Philist the Philistines covered Isaac's well. Not one, not twice, but they did so over and over again. How did Isaac handle them? With wisdom. He left the scene. Sometimes it may be best to avoid difficult people. May God give us the wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Friends, it, it just wasn't worth it. There's a lesson to be learned from the way Isaac handled the situation. You should always hold your peace, not because you're a fool. The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, but for they shall be called the sons of God. Matthew 5, 9. Be the first to apologize if need be. Choose to walk in love. Friends, to whom much is given, much is required. In a great house, there are vessels of gold and silver, as well as vessels of wood. Keep your eyes on the prize of a high calling in Christ. Let not your heart be troubled. God will arise on your behalf. God will give you an answer of peace. May the peace of God that passes all understanding be yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Remain blessed in, in the awesome name of Jesus. This word of exhortation was actually an excerpt 
from my ebook titled In His Vineyard. And it can be available to you via email at no cost with the purchase of any other of my ebooks. My ebooks cost $5 and can be read from your smartphones, iPads, or computer. For more information, send me a message. Have a blessed day.